Hello, this is Angie Monko, and I'm your holistic grief and divorce coach. And today I want to talk about parental alienation. Have your kids turned against you? So what is parental alienation? It's a set of strategies that one parent uses to foster a child's rejection of the other parent. And it often develops into a child who comes to hate, fear, reject, the targeted parent as someone unworthy of having a relationship with them. And if this is you, and if this is happening to you, I just want to say how sorry I am because I know just how difficult from talking to many people this is happening to and how heartbreaking it is. So my condolences for you for sure. Um, so it's like you're being canceled by one of your children. So sorry. The other day I was emailing with Sherry McGregor, who is an author and a coach, a life coach, and has a master's in human behavior. Um, when her son was in his 20s, he, is, he estranged her. He more or less rejected and canceled her. And she sought help to deal with the denial and the blame and the shame, but she found a lot of judgment instead. And this inspired her to write her book, which is titled Done With the Crying, Help and Healing for Mothers of Estranged Adult Children. So, quote, per Sherry, beliefs about how much parents influence children's development are pervasive and oversimplified. Because of ideals about unconditional love and the mother-child bond, those who speak about adult children who estrange themselves are often judged or even shunned. And um, she found that from even the experts. So it's just, it's just heartbreaking. Um, and shaming them only causes them to isolate even more. Patterns of that I've noticed in a targeted parent over the years from people I've talked to, both men and women, is that the targeted parent seems to be very kind and gentle and loving and conscious and even empathic and sensitive. And and I'm not saying that's the case with everybody, but it just that you know relationships are complex, and this is the pattern that I have noticed. And so um, if you look in the notes, you'll see eight manifestations of parental alienation syndrome. And one of them is that uh, the alienated children, when they're questioned about the reasons for their intense hostility against the targeted parent, the explanations offered are not of the magnitude that would lead to rejection. So they're, it seems kind of uh, minimized or, you know, that it wouldn't, they're overreacting in other words. Talk about a case of injustice. Think about the alien or the um, targeted parent. They're being blamed for pretty much everything that's going on, which is not realistic. Uh, we humans, unfortunately, are very easily manipulated and wired for negativity. Um, we tend to look for the worst in others. So that being said, can you see how readily we can be influenced and deceived into believing lies, like with gossip? If you add on top of that, a the fact that a child is hardwired to want to believe in and in love both parents, can you see how it'd be extra confusing for a child to begin to believe that one of their natural advocates in life, the targeted parent, has turned into an enemy not worthy of their love? This has long ranging, long range consequences for someone's mental health. So we really have to look at what is going on. Why is that targeted parent being targeted in the first place? There was a study that was done, which is referenced in the notes, that showed that the interviewed targeted parents said that they were being emotionally, physically, and sexually abused by the alienating parent. So this data should put to rest the prevailing notion that all children will ally themselves with the parent that's better able to attend to their needs. The people interviewed appeared to side with the parent on whom they had been dependent and whose approval they were most afraid of losing, not the parent who was the most sensitive or capable. That's so important to, to note. Let me read, uh, say that back. Our children are being loyal to the parent whose approval they most seek from a place of pain. They want their parents' love so much that they're willing to reject the other parent who probably on some level feels safer for them to reject. How can you get relief? One, realize that it's not your fault. You've done your best. You are lovable and good enough, and your child's rejection of you is more about them and their needs 
as well as the fact that they have been manipulated rather than a moral judgment of you. Number two, deep healing is needed to move through this grief. And you will always love your child and you're a human with feelings. Give yourself a break. Number three, developing your positive intelligence, mus intelligence muscle, your ability to be resilient and see a gift in any scenario will be a huge blessing to you. I believe in you and I love your caring, sensitive spirit. You aren't perfect, who is? And you deserve to be loved, accepted, valued, and appreciated no matter what anyone else says or does. Please see below in the comments, I'm gonna have a link to my upcoming Heal Your Heart Retreat, which can help you to begin to heal from the effects of parental alienation.